people, welcome. Thank you for practicing with me. So I hope that you're doing well uh, in this quarantine season that we find ourselves in. Um, I just want to take a moment to start with some mindfulness. Uh, studies not only show that it helps us, but I want you to get in touch with your body and just learn how you feel uh, after a few moments of grace of recentering and of self-compassion. So to start, let's just find our posture. You can lift and then take your sit bones back and down. So what that does is put your tailbone right beneath the backside of your head. And then I want you to lift the crown of your head. So you feel like you're pulling those two points apart. So tail down, crown of the head up, nice deep breath. And then exhale, take your lowest rib and just hug it in. It's going to help support your spine and then shoulders. Take them back as if you held something between your shoulder blades nice and soft. So you feel your heart is open, your spine is a little bit longer. And then take a breath and just relax your jaw. Maybe close your eyes, let your hips be a little softer. If that feels like it's uh, not doable, you just want to put a pillow right beneath your tailbone. And then we're going to use our hands. So take one hand and place it on your heart. And then take the other and place it deep and low on your belly. Take a nice deep breath. Close your eyes if that's all right. And start to notice your body. Can you inhale and lift the crown up just a little bit taller? Feel each vertebrae lengthen off of the next. And as you exhale, keep sliding your shoulders back, feeling your heart wide and open and upwards. And really let your hip flexors soften. Start to notice your breathing, what's it like? What's the rhythm? How quick or slow? Is there a texture to your breath? And is your breath telling you anything? Sometimes we notice how we're feeling because of the way we're holding our breath. We're breathing in and out. So just take a moment to notice without any judgment, just listen. And then let that go and just let your body breathe for a moment. Let it breathe you. Noticing the way that your breath moves. Where is it moving the most within? And then bring to mind something you're incredibly grateful for. And maybe in this season that's tough. So allow it to be even something super tiny like seeing the sun. Or a favorite photo in just this moment. And I want you to hold that in your mind. And if your mind wanders to something else, as soon as you're aware of it, just bring it back to that image of what you're grateful for and to your breath. Be your steadying point. Just for a few more seconds, studies show that it'll strengthen the pathway in our brain to that more joyful space if we hold it for 15 seconds. And then you can let that go. Keep your hands there and take another breath. Maybe you got tense, see if you can find your posture again, lifting the crown, shoulders back. And just one more moment, stay here with your breath. Find the lower hand and breathe in until it moves all the way out, reminding your body to use all of your lungs. And then as you exhale, bring that hand in, relaxing the body, feeling kindness and soft. So do another breath like that, really using your lungs, breathing the lower hand out, feeling the natural kindness, calming. And then exhaling, bringing your hand back in. And I want to ask you a different question. What is challenging right now? And just bring it to mind for only a few seconds. We won't stay here long. And I want you to breathe compassion over that space. You're human. You're doing the best that you can. It's okay if that's tough. And then take one more moment of breath choosing an intention to strengthen around that space, to care for yourself, to 
in your practice and to recenter so that you can be stronger as you enter back in to whatever it is that's on your mind. So take one more deep breath, breathing in to feel the inhale, feel your body in this moment. And as you breathe out, let go of everything that's not on your mat. You can wait until you're done with your yoga practice. Now fully present, feel your sit bones against the ground. We're just gonna to start to move, inhale and reach up. And then exhale, take your hands, bend your elbows and just lift your heart. So it's a tiny little back bend. At the same time, you can hug in that lowest rib and just start to feel like you're lifting up, you're breathing in. And then inhale, reach up. And exhale, as your hands come down, you can twist to one side. So just pick, this is gentle. And your opposite hip, the one you're twisting away from, I want you to think about grounding it and pulling it back. So that's going to keep your sit bones steady. Heart lifts, crown lifts, breathe in. One more exhale. See if you can revolve the shoulders back as you ground that hip. And then inhale, reach up. Second side. So exhale, twist to the other side. Shoulders come back. Inhale, crown lifts. And as you exhale, hug the belly in and draw the opposite hip back. You're grounding your hip. Awesome. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, take one hand down. Other arm is going to slide. So we're just waking up the body before we get going. Breathe in. Exhale, you can twist forward if that feels good on the low back. Both arms come around. Inhale, reach high. And then exhale, other side. Shoulders come back. Soften the face, soften the jaw. Inhale. And exhale, sweep forward. This time, hands are going to come to the side of your mat or coming to all fours. So reposition. Bring your knees under your hip joints, hands right under the shoulders, and then take your shoulder blades to kiss behind your back again. And lengthen crown of the head and tail. Nice deep breath, opposite arm and leg. Inhale, reach up. And I want you to pause today. So feel your body and see if you can even out the weight distribution from your front hand, your back knee. And just find the breath of balance. And now here, what are you gripping? Get to know your body. Start to listen in. And can you provide a little comfort, a little softening, and then a moment of self-compassion for whatever it is that's tightening? You're doing the best you can. One more deep breath in. And exhale, hand and foot come down. Cat-cow, breathe in. Lift your chin, lift your tail, hammock the back. And then exhale, round. And we'll switch sides. Inhale, second side, opposite arm and leg left. And we'll just pause. So if you want, you can add on flexing the back foot. And that's going to lengthen the calf a little bit. Soft knees. Shoulders touch behind. Draw the lowest rib in. Belly strong. And then reach. How long can you become? One more deep breath. You've got it. And exhale. Bring it down. Cat-cow. Breathe in. Lift up. And exhale under. Try to match it with your breath. Inhale, reach the first side again. Pause and exhale. One more breath in. And then exhale, come down. One cat cow, breathe in. Breathe out. Second side, inhale, reach. Can you bring the belly in? Use it the shoulders back. Take your full breath. And when you're ready, breathe out, bring it back down. One more cat. Changing slightly, inhale, reach up for side down again, and just pause. See if you can level out the shoulders, the hips. Okay, if you're wobbly, you can always put your toes down or your hand down. So if you want to stretch, we're going to bend the back knee. So that's going to stretch your thigh. Hopefully you feel it already. And then your front arm can reach back. So you can stay here, see how I'm not connected. But if you want, if your body has that capability and it really asks you to and wants to, you can hold your ankle and lift. So pushing into the mat, shoulders back, and we want you to think about sticking your tail on out instead of tucking it under. And then try to lengthen crown off of the neck. Nice and long spine. Inhale, exhale. We're going to lengthen. Breathe in, reach out. And exhale, come down. One cat cow, breathe in. And exhale. Second side, inhale, reach, and just pause. Take a nice deep breath. What needs cared for? Is anything tight? Remember, you got this. You can take breaks. Inhale. Exhale, bend the back knee. 
And then if you like, arm reaches. So you can just stay lifting and reaching. That's a great balance and strengthening for what's grounded. Or if your body's able and you want to connect, you can connect and press the heel up. The lengthen the tailbone out, lengthen the crown, and show a whole lot of grace for your body. What does it need right now? Be kind and loving. One more deep breath in. And exhale, let it go. Last cat cow, breathe in, breathe out. And when you're ready, tuck the toes. And we're gonna come to our down dog. So lift the hips, shift the heart back. Soft knees, take a nice deep breath in. And as you exhale, press the hands down. So if this is ever too much work for your body, I want you to drop the knees, shift back. So you can be in puppy pose or child's pose. But if you're ready for your down dog, find yourself there and take a deep exhale. See if you can spread the weight evenly between each finger. Take your mind into each one. It's gonna calm your mind down as you focus. Think about your heart, and I want you to spin your armpits out to open your heart center. And then a gentle shrugging of the shoulder blades up towards the head is going to help open it more. And then bend your knees. That's going to lift your tailbone off, your hips up and back. Yeah. So if you can keep your tailbone like that, then you can lengthen your knees a little soft but straight, just a little more. And take three deep breaths. If your body could talk, what would it tell you it needs? And then what can you give to your body through this practice? Maybe allow that to just be an open space to listen one more moment. Inhale and exhale. Your eyes come to the hands and you can walk or hop your feet forward to the head of the mat and then hang in a forward fold. Bend your knees a little bit, shake your head. Yes and no, roll the shoulders, move the hips, and just breathe. Maybe you want to rock a little. And then hands can come to the shins or under the toes. We're going to have a flat back in Gorilla. So inhale and lengthen the back flat. So tailbone lifts up and back as if you're lifting to the corner of the ceiling behind you. The crown of the head lifts away. One more deep breath in, and exhale, come down. We're going to do that one more time. So inhale, fingertips under the toes, under the shins, flat back, extend, feel the back body stretch, and let it go. The knees bend, inhale the whole way up, reach to rise, and exhale, hands come to the heart. So we'll find our first mountain. So I want you to look at your feet, and you can bring them either hip width, or a little closer together with the big toes touching. And then soften your knees. Hands can come to the heart. Take a nice deep breath in. And as you exhale, allow your feet to ground down. Think about the outer edge of your feet and press them down, almost as if you lifted the inner edge. And then I want you to feel how you can become grounded by pushing down now with even weight into the ball of the foot as well, the big toe, and the inner heel. So you grounded all the edges of the feet, lifting the arches. Take a nice deep breath. And exhale, feel your connection with the ground. It's holding you up. You are supported. And then inhale, lengthen through the crown of the head, as if you just got a little taller. And exhale, take the shoulders back. And at the same time, hug your lowest ribs. That's like your connection points, everything supporting your spine. And then tailbone goes just a little bit behind you and down. And take a couple deep breaths. Can you feel your heart open? Can you take a breath that softens your jaw, softens the muscles around your forehead? And then scan your body and just see what you're holding on to in this moment that you're practicing. And what is it that you need? And take a moment to breathe in your intention to care for your body to either comfort or strength, whatever it is that you need. Just take a moment, breathe that in. And if there's anything you want to let go of, take a moment to exhale and just breathe it out. So one more time, setting your intention, inviting in the new, letting go of the old. 
And let's start to move. Inhale and reach out. So lengthen your body nice and high. Shoulders back, chest in. And exhale, dive down. So knees can bend. Hands to shins or under the toes. Inhale, flat back, gorilla. And exhale, let it go. Knees bend. Step your leg farthest away from me back. So the one closest to your screen is up front. Align your knee right over top of your ankle. And then lengthen crown of the head away from the back heel. So soft back knee. If your body wants, you can drop that leg onto the mat for extra support. So here, open your chest and lengthen your body. Now you just practiced it in mountain. Can you bring that same feeling of pushing down the outer edge as well as the big toe and inner heel into your feet here? So find your mountain foot. Nice deep breath. And then if you like, so the same side hand, that front hand closest to the screen, inhale, reach it up and forward. So you're just reaching away from the back heel almost. Yes, inhale and exhale, sweep it back, open your heart. So we're just kind of opening up the shoulder. Inhale, reach, strengthen. And exhale back. Feel how that puts a little more weight into your thigh. One more time. Breathe in. And exhale. Hand comes down. Inhale. And exhale back to down dog. And you can pedal it out if you want. Let your body play for a little bit now. And then when you're ready, take a nice deep breath out. Opening the heart. Lifting the hips. Lengthening your spine. Take a cleansing breath, whatever that means for your body. And then if you want to flow with me, inhale forward, shoulders over wrists to plank. So you can be either lifted, shoulders back, tail and crown lengthening, or kneeling. So both are great for your body. Inhale. And exhale, slowly lower the whole way this first time to the mat. And then baby cobra, toes point back. Inhale, lift the heart center. So here, instead of locking in your tailbone towards the mat, I want you to lift it up. So that's going to give yourself more room to lengthen and round your back. So inhale, open the heart, hands are light. Exhale, let go a bit, and we're going to do that one more time. So try to strengthen the back, inhaling up without pressing against the mat with your hands. Awesome. And exhale, let it go. Tuck the toes, push and pull back to your down dog or child's pose or anything in between. And then take a cleansing breath. What does your body need? Breathe and invite it in. Reset on the exhale. And then knees bend and step that farthest foot. Step it forward in between the hands. So you're on your opposite side. So just find yourself there. And we first are going to find our low lunge. So maybe you want to drop the knee. Think about your front foot. Find that mountain feeling. All four corners of the foot ground in. Arch the teeth. Shoulders back, crown and tail lengthen. We breathe. That same side hand, so the back hand now. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, sweep it back. Inhale. Just be fully present in moving the body and breathing with it. Let that calm your mind as you come into the present moment. Last one. Exhale back. And hand comes down, knees soft, step forward, and let yourself relax. This time, if you like, bend the knees and hug behind them. And as you hug, you can really round your back at a great stretch in the spine. And then with each exhale, let your arms go. Just take one more and feel gravity's kind tug as it opens your spine. And then knees bend, eyes lift. Inhale the whole way up. Feel your feet push down. So feel the connection of being grounded to help you rise. And exhale, hands come to the heart. And then reset, find your mountain. It's always okay to come out of alignment. That's why we keep refocusing and come back in, into it. Life happens and we build our muscle memory. So find your mountain. Lengthen crown of the head up, tailbone down. Open the heart ribs in. And then what is it that you need in this moment? Or maybe you want to reset into whatever it is that your body has already been telling you that you need. So just take a breath, breathe in your new intention. Breathe out, let go of what's holding you back or getting in the way. One more breath. 
So with that intention, inhale, reach up as if you embodied it. And then exhale, dive down with it. So you're bringing it into your practice. Hands to shins or under the toes and lengthen. Feel your expansion. And exhale, let it go. Knees bend. Your foot closest to me is going to step back. So we're just starting on the opposite side. So the leg farthest from the screen is right underneath. And then bringing your back foot down until the heel touches. So what that might mean is you step forward until the heel touches the mat or you step out until it touches the mat. Both will help. And then find your mountain footing here in both feet. Align the knees over the middle of the toes. And make sure your knee is right on top of your ankle and not more forward. That's what we want to be careful of. One back, yeah. And then if you want, hands can stay down. You could just do one arm again. Or if you want to do both, we're going to inhale and reach up. And exhale, sit back. Breathe in. Find your footing, pushing down all four corners. And exhale. See if you can lengthen crown of the head just one more time. Breathe in. Breathe out. And then hands come back down. Knees bend. Step back to down dog. And relax. Maybe you want to drop the knees completely for more rest. Or you want to pedal it out. And just find your down dog. Find your space. And then take two deep breaths to give your body exactly what you need in this moment. Feel it coming in. Feel yourself release. It's holding you back one more time. So you can stay there, maybe come to child's pose if you want a break. If you want the vinyasa, inhale forward. So shoulders over wrists, kneeling and lifted. And then exhale, slowly lower halfway or all the way. So let your body pick what it needs. And then inhale up, baby cobra again or up dog. So if you're an up dog, I want you to take your shoulders back to touch and your heart center to lift. Yes, crown the head lifts. One more deep breath in. And exhale back to down dog. And breathe. One more deep breath to release whatever tension you're holding on to. And then exhale and bend your knees and step the leg closest to me forward. So now we're on the opposite side again. So the leg closest to your screen is forward. Align the knee of the ankle. Back foot. We're going to step it in until the heel goes down for your one feet. And ground the outer edge, big toe, and heel. And then when you're ready, inhale. You can lift if you like. One arm above. And exhale, come back. So you can, can stay low, but keep the knee behind the ankle or right above. Yes. And really breathe. Feel the life in your body. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. And we'll come back down. Knees bend, step forward, and let yourself relax. You can shake it out, rock the hips, roll the shoulders. And this time, if you like, bend the elbows and just hug them. Put your back open in a new way as gravity tugs in a different way with this arm position. One more deep breath. And then soften the knees and lift the eyes and inhale the whole way up. This time exhale and take the hands behind you and then clasp. Soft knees, tailbone comes back and then heart can lift for a little back bend. So instead of tucking the tail under, I want you to bring it back. It's going to help give your low back more space. Yeah. One more deep breath in and let it go. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, dive down. Feel the life as you move with your breath. Hands to shins or under the toes, length, and feel your breathing. And exhale, let it go. Knees bend, and we're going to do that again where we step the leg closest to me, step it back. This time, warrior two feet. So turn your heel in so that your toes are more forward. And then this knee that's bent beneath you, I want you to line that up again. Warrior two, inhale like a windmill, we breathe out. And exhale, open. So let yourself feel open, expansive here. You can take a moment and reposition until you feel like you're a little more grounded. So that might mean pushing down on the outer edges, big toes, making sure that your ankles and knees feel like they're pointing in the direction of the middle of the toes. And then today, flip your palms. So you can either do straight arms or maybe a little bit wider and up. And I just want you to feel the expanse. 
Feel as if your body is lightening. All that heavy load that maybe is on you is just lifting. Let joy rise. Let comfort come in. With each inhale, you breathe in a little more new life. And each exhale, you feel a softening and a comfort. So one more time, breathe in. And out. So face towards the camera so you can keep seeing. We're going to inhale up. And then as you exhale, just turn your toes. So point in the toes that were forward and then point out the toes that were behind you. And now you're going to bend to the other side. So take a moment. Reposition until you feel strong. I want you to feel all ten toes pushing down, arches lifting, heels grounded. And then inhale, arms out. And exhale for palms. And find the arm position that feels most comforting to you. And can you lengthen tail down, crown up, chest wide. And here you want to be careful of not arching your back. I want you to still hug in around the upper ribs. Let yourself feel aligned. And then one more deep breath, just feeling that opening, soaking it in. Feeling the softening, letting it go. And then inhale, lift up, and we're going to go back to the way that you were facing. Windmill the arms down, knees bend, and set back to down dog. And you can pedal it out or find your child's pose. Find that length, that opening. And I want you to take a couple breaths where you scan down and just feel what's different. Do you notice if you're strengthening? Do you notice if you're adding a little more opening, flexibility? And if your mind is a little more grounded, just take another breath, simply be here, noticing your body and how your practice is helping. So thanking your body for its strength, breathe in. And exhale, knees bend, and step one leg outside of the hand in front. So you're just going to step it outside your hand instead of on the inside. It's going to open your hips. And then the back knee can ground down and chest lifts up. So take a moment, and you can let this knee kind of rock out a bit. And just find a place to open your hip. Chest lifts. You can come off your wrist if that's a little bit too much. Nice deep breath in. Let it soak into the hips. Softening. And we'll stay here in a moment, but we're going to flow first. So hands come back down. Inhale, lift that leg all the way into the air behind. Knee that's grounded is bent. And then exhale, foot comes down. Other side, inhale, reach up. And then exhale, step the foot outside of your opposite hand now. And back knee drops. You can rock the knee out a little bit. And chest lifts. And take a few moments to breathe. Scan down your body and soften. Nice deep breath. Is there anything that your body needs right here? And then we'll do that one more time each side before we really pause. So inhale, lift your leg up all the way to three-legged dog, soft knees, and exhale, bring it down. First side, inhale, reach up, and exhale, bring it outside of your hand, and then let that knee drop if you want. Back knee can stay lifted this time. Chest lifts. Face softens. Nice deep breath. Lengthen, curl the head to tail. Core stays in. Inhale. And exhale, we'll lift back. So last time, just like that. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, outside of your hand. Knee can stay lifted or grounded. Let that front knee rock out and just lift. Lengthen, crown to tail. And one more deep breath in. Let it go. Inhale, three legged dog. And then down dog. So this time, bend your knees and step your first sides outside of your hand. And we are going to drop that back knee the whole way down. So you can stay here for a little bit. So if you want, let the knee rock out if that's going to feel good. We're opening our hips. Or you could take your elbows down if you want a little bit more. And you can even hug the knee tight. So I want you to explore your body. What feels best for opening your hips here? And when I say feels best, it doesn't necessarily mean it feels like so cozy or comfy. It's more that you feel like you're stretching, you feel like it's in a healthy place for your body, and it's doing it good. 
So sometimes hip openers are like medicine. And we just know they're helping, we know they're healing. And we just need to be patient. Your tailbone feels like it's gripping under and down towards the mat. I want you to lift it out and up a little bit, just really gently. Open your heart. And use your body scan. Take a few breaths. Scan down your body. What is gripping that doesn't have to be? And could you speak softness over to that space? Over and over, speaking softness to whoever you're talking. One more breath, trusting the process. And then we're gonna switch. You tuck the back toes, you gently push up onto your hands, and then we switch sides. So you could come to that three-legged dog if you liked it. It helps you stretch out. And then we'll switch sides. So your opposite foot comes outside of your hands. You lower the back knee, open your heart, shoulders roll back, and then maybe wiggle that knee a bit. If your body wants you to come to your elbows for a little more, you can. And then play with it. Do you want to rock the knee out? Do you want to hug it tight? And check in with your alignment. Is your tail going under? Can you lift it out? Crown of the head reaches and your ribs hug in. Nice deep breath. And then scan again here. Our tension can change moment to moment. So it's okay to have tension. It's about how quickly we were able to recognize it, to check in with ourselves, and to provide the compassion and the care that our body needs. So take another moment to really breathe. One more deep breath, scanning it all over your body. And breathing softness. And then hands are going to help push you up. And this time, knees are going to come back. So you're going to be on kneeling. Separate the knees wide for a wide knee child's pose. And then lay yourself down. And take a couple deep breaths. And I want you to give thanks for your body. So maybe say thank you to whatever part is carrying your, te your attention for doing its best. For holding you up. And then one more breath, just saying thank you to another part of your body that maybe doesn't get positive attention much, just for all it's doing to keep you here healthy and strong. And then gently inhale and come on up, and you can swing your feet through so that you're seated. And this time I want you to bring your feet together so your knees are going to be out. Feet kind of like a book, just opening up, and then hands are going to come back. So come to a place where you feel okay here. It doesn't matter how high your knees are, how wide they are, how close the feet are. I want your knees to feel healthy. And then hands come back, chest lifts, a nice deep breath. So it's a slight back bend. You take your tailbone back, the ribs in, crown of the head up. Nice deep breath. Inhale. And then exhale and tip forward. So chin can come in, elbows wide. And again, you don't have to look any certain way. So you don't have to come forward very far to stretch your hips. So come to wherever your body feels safe, feels loved, seen. Find that space for you. Nice deep breath. And then when you're ready, inhale. And take out one leg and sweep the other foot in so the palm of your foot is touching your inner thigh. Then see where you feel even. So you might even want to use your hands and walk your sit bones back. It's going to help you sit tall. And then inhale like a wave. We we'll scoop the belly in and lift up. And then exhale, we reach forward and allow ourselves to tuck in and release. Let your hands become soft. And with each exhale, see if you can get a little bit heavier, just letting the neck and the chest fall. And then inhale and gently lift up. And exhale, you're going to twist towards your straight leg. So away from your bent knee, lift the crown of the head up, shoulders back, and gently bring the belly button in to twist. 
So inhale again, let yourself unwind a bit. And then as you exhale, belly comes in and you can twist, shoulders back. You can do it one more time, bringing out the waist, letting go, whatever you're holding on to. And then gently come back. So we're really going to open our center, which helps fight depression and tell you to open your heart. So your bent knee, I want you to take it up into the air. Put your foot down and hands back. So what you want to think about is the soft part of your elbow is lining up with this webbing between your thumb and first finger. So you can come back, kind of spin them around so that feels just about right for you. Shoulders together. And then inhale, push your heel down and just come up and open your heart. And take a few deep breaths here in your reverse plank. Now, if you do yoga a lot and you really want both legs out, go right ahead, soften the knees. Nice deep breath. Inhale. And exhale. One more time, kneeling or both legs lifted. And then gently come back down. So now you're really going to have to use your hands to walk your sit bones back. So try that again. Now your opposite side, you want you to bend your knee, bring your foot in. And then square your shoulders and hips with one another. Like a wave, inhale, sweep up. And exhale, reach forward, tuck the chin and let go. So maybe you have more length, you could walk that hip bone back. But then I want you to let your hands go, let your head go. And just be heavy and breathe. Nice deep breath. So one more time, really breathe and see how heavy and soft you can become. And then inhale and press on up. And as you exhale, turn towards your long leg and I want you to lift your chest and then twist. So ground the hip on the bent knee side. Inhale, crown of head lifts, and exhale, belly comes in to twist. So two breaths, inhale, release again. Exhale, twist, hug the belly. One more time, inhale, lift, and exhale, belly in. Last time for our lifted plank. So I want you to take your knee up, foot down, hands back, line up to where your wrists feel good, and then inhale and rise. So open your heart, lengthen crown of the head from your tailbone. Nice deep breath. If you want both legs out, soft knees, inhale. And exhale. Two more breaths. You've got this. Feel yourself open. Feel yourself free. One more time. Inhale. And exhale, bring it down. Hands are going to help the sit bones come back. And this time, both feet flex them for a moment and then let them go. That's just going to lengthen the calves. If you can't quite sit on your tailbone, put a pillow there or bend your knees. Like a wave, inhale, return. And exhale, lengthen and let go. Hands, palms up. And just breathe. What can you receive in this moment? What grace can you just let come in? One more breath, breathing, rest, and breathe. And then inhale, gently walk up. And as you exhale, you're going to make sure you have enough space to lay back behind you. So you can just lay your body down. If you want some core work, you're going to come with me through both toes. So hands, they can hold behind your thighs. They can be a little bit behind you. Those are both great options. So I'll show behind the thighs. Inhale. And exhale, heels can lift, and that's going to use your core. I want you to allow your tailbone to come under, so we are going to roll back so that we are curving our spine. And if you want, toes stay down or they lift up. Shoulders back, chest wide. Now, if you want the full boat, arms are out. And take three deep breaths, whatever modification. Feet down, holding on, up, and just breathe. Now, if you feel like you're really holding your abs in, which is great, Think about breathing using your lungs into the back of the body. That's always there for you. One more breath, maybe. 
And whenever you're ready to lay down, I just want you to lay back and then reach your fingertips, reach your toes, let your belly come off the mat for a deep, deep stretch. And just like you were sitting in cobbler's pose, you're going to do that here. Palms of the feet together, knees open. And then bend your elbows and hug on to them. And take a few deep breaths, letting your hips open, feeling the ground support you. Soften your hands, soften your face, and just let your belly rise and fall. As you exhale, sink into your mat and feel how the ground is pushing you up. Your life is supported. You do not need to earn that support. Let yourself sink into being held. Take your legs long when you're ready. Bend one knee in. I want you to lift your head towards it. So hug that shin. And then you can lift your heel up, hold behind, and gently lay your head back down. Roll the ankle both directions. And then just gently bring the leg in, but soften your grip. So allow yourself to just receive. Soft shoulders, soft face, one more deep breath in. And exhale, knee bends and other side. Hug the other knee in, you can hold onto the shin and then lift your head towards it. That's gonna help your spine lengthen out. And then lay it down long, heel lifts, hold behind. Roll the ankle both directions. And then gently bring it in and take a nice deep breath. And out. So one more time. And then last working pose, bend your knees into happy baby. So take your knees wider than your ribs, hold into the instep or the outer edge of your feet. And you can rock if that's going to feel really nice on your body, or you can just stay. And I want you to work on exhaling, letting go of every last bit of air that you have within your lungs. Nice deep breath in. And then work on the exhale. So see if you can soften your body. Just two more breaths. Letting the comfort of the pose or the gratitude of you being able to do this come in and care for your body. And whenever you're ready, come together. We're going to bring the feet to the mat. Separate them hip width. And then rock your knees towards each other. So before a full Shavasana or relaxation pose, we're going to stay here with our knees in. That's going to support our low back. You can stay here the whole time if you like. And then take one hand high. So it can be right underneath the left side of your chest. That might help you feel your heartbeat. And then the other hand low on your belly. And I want you to let go of effort and just feel your breath. And feel either your heartbeat or the warmth of your body underneath your fingers. So allow yourself to have a moment where you just feel the rhythms of your own life and how your body is caring for you. It's allowing you to do each moment that you've already lived. And it's giving you what you need to do each moment that's ahead. So take a moment to just really feel your breath, feel your warmth, feel your heartbeat. And learn to trust your own body's care, strength, and love. Take one last breath and can you notice every second of it from start to finish? When you're ready, find a more relaxing position if that's not it. So maybe legs long, hands out, or something warm over top. And then I want you to exhale and feel the ground really sink into it. And if your mind is racing or keeping you up at night, this is a great practice. So start to notice a sound. Really notice it. Once you hear a new sound, let it float away. 
And now it's the next one. So you're giving each sound a bit of your attention fully before moving to the next, choosing to let them all go. And then we'll do the same with sensations. So notice what you feel. Notice each temperature, each texture against your skin. Notice any light and dark, any tastes or smells. And as soon as you're aware of a sensation, I want you to give it a little bit of your attention fully and then let it go. Move on to the next. And then we'll come into the body. So notice your forehead and gently let it go. Notice the muscles behind the eyes. Take a breath and let them smooth. Notice the muscles around your jaw and cheeks and let them widen and relax. Notice your head, let it sink back to relax your neck. And then your back body, really let it rest into the mat to open your heart to soften your arms. And allow your hips to sink, to widen. And then down your arms, let them feel heavy, supported. Relax. And then down your legs. And take it. Feel your breath rise and fall now. Feel every nuance, even that little switch in between. And for the next few moments, as soon as your mind wanders to a new thought, a new feeling, a sound, a sensation, an attention, as soon as you're aware that it wandered, bring it back to your breath over and over, trusting that this rewires your mind, learning how to calm and how to let go of unbeneficial thoughts or tensions. So for the next few moments, give yourself this gift to keep coming back to your breath over and over. One more moment, find your breath. And then scan down your body and cherish something you're grateful for. Maybe it is your breath and warmth. Maybe it's this moment that you gave yourself. Maybe it's a beloved pet. I'm just seeing the sun today, just take a moment to cherish some grace in your life. Hold it in your mind one more moment. And then gently start to move your fingers and toes and practice gratitude there that you're able to do this. And just the gift that it is that your brain is working with your muscles, all of it little miracles. And you can roll your wrists and your ankles. Can rock, sway, stretch long. What would feel great? Listen to your body. Stay in that mode. And then when you're ready, roll to one side and let yourself rest there. And before you push up, I really want you to feel the ground. Feel held and let yourself be held. Let me go. And then when you're ready, use your top hand and push up. Sit nice and tall. Find your posture you began with. Then finish them together. Inhale, reach up. And exhale. Namaste. So thank you so much for practicing with me. So my name is Rachel Heisey, and I teach under Yoga Breathe Pray. So if you want to find me on YouTube, Facebook, uh, Patreon, really anywhere. I also have a podcast of meditations, just like uh, you practiced here, that are purely to help give you a gift. So um, if you want to say thank you and you're able to do that, uh, please send me a note. Uh, if you want to say thanks through donating on PayPal or Venmo, please do that as well. It's such a gift in this season. So in person, I teach at uh, West End Yoga Studio, which is in Lancaster City. And I just love it here. So hopefully we can be together in person soon. Uh, and I am 
more than happy to even teach privately on Zoom or any of those platforms if you're just looking for a little um, soul care or care with friends. Uh, just let me know. So reach out. If you're doing well. Uh, and trying to add a little more beauty to our lives. I figured why not do a different thing here behind me each time. So if you want to see my art, that's Rachel Lynn has you design everywhere. So thank you so much. Enough about me. I hope that you are choosing to love your body, love your spirit, and your mind. And you're really taking care of yourself in this season. Uh, as frequently as you need, please pause, breathe, and refine your center. Help to love not only your own spirit, but every single person around you. So may we see those around us. May we start with the love inside and we branch it out. Thank you, grace, peace, and namaste.